Right now what you're seeing behind me, those are not video games, are like 5G enabled uh, remote controls. What they do here you find all the different type of vehicles. You have the robo taxis, you have the cleaning vehicles, you have the retail or vending machine vehicles. All of them are here. Baidu is a really open-minded and young company and we really believe we have the power to make your life easier and make the world better. Absolutely. Now after riding the self-driving taxis or the autonomous taxis that belong to the Apollo project, we came to the Apollo Park in Guangzhou to check some other technologies. Remember self-driving technology is not only maybe for passengers, maybe not just for taxis or for buses, but they're also developing other kind of technologies, other kind of vehicles like this venting machine that I actually made a video about one of these that we have in Shenzhen. But the Baidu technologies also applies for these kind of vehicles, like this one vending machine, maybe an ambulance, a cleaner vehicle. So we have a lot of different products that Apollo project or Baidu as a technology company is developing currently. So later on, we're gonna just keep taking a look to the products they're having here in this uh, Apollo park. Uh, you can see in the middle, they're displaying some of their technologies, the different devices they're developing that are related to this technology. So we're just gonna take a look So right now what you're seeing behind me is uh, these devices that look like a video game console. Those are not video games. Actually, they have a few of them here. And these uh, machines or these equipments are like 5G enabled uh, remote controls. What they do is they can control the actual vehicle or the actual car that are on the street uh, in a remote way. So from here, you can see they have those big screens. Uh, they have a steering wheel, uh, they have all the controls and the information that the actual car will have. So if in case of some emergency they need to remove the safety driver, they can take the control from these uh, devices or these machines from here and they can drive and park and move the car from one place to the other from the distance, from here. So right now we have these drivers that aren't getting trained for the future when uh, actually the technology is massively applied on the street. They can do that in a case of emergency. No safety driver will be needed in the car, but they can just double check the operations from here. And actually, in case of an emergency, they can just remove and move the car from one place to the other. That is super cool. I just came to this room and I saw all these devices. Oh, cool, we'll have some video games for practice, but these are actually not video games. These are uh, real uh, situations, uh, cars, uh, or machines that can control the autonomous driving vehicle. Look at this little cute vehicle here. It's also an autonomous driving vehicle that is actually for cleaning. It's used by companies to clean, like, of course, bigger uh, spaces, outside spaces. And it has all the sensors you can see here on the top, on the front as well. It has cameras. It's like work vehicle to clean the big spaces. We can clean efficiently in a fast way, big areas, big surfaces. It is really cute. Right now we are with what it looks like a massive parking lot for all the vehicles that Baidu is using for their self-driving technology. Now you can see all type of vehicles are in this area here and actually there's one car arriving right now who's parking but here you find all the different type of vehicles. You have the robo taxis, you have the cleaning vehicles, you have the retail or vending machine vehicles. All of them are here. 
charging because of course Baidu is using full fleet of electric vehicles, which means more and better clean energy. vehicles that Baidu is using for their testing and their self-driving technology belongs to a Chinese company called Hongqi, which means a uh, red flag, like this one we have here and the taxi we use this morning. We are in a very cool place right now, it looks like the Batman's parking lot. Actually, this is a place where they bring the, their self-driving cars to calibrate because of course all the sensors need to be calibrated against walls, obstacles and distances. So this is the place where they're going to bring their cars to do this calibration process. It looks kind of cool, right? With all the lights and the walls and all these kind of QR codes around. It looks very nice. And I was flying my drone outside, and then Ju is here. Hello, Ju. Hi. So, what is, what is this place about? Like, it looks very interesting. Uh, this place is called Apollo Park, where mm. we show our most advanced technology. Uh, now, in Baidu, we do things uh, to improve transportation. Like, drive in Guangzhou, sometimes you feel like there's no traffic. That's mm -hmm. because we do a lot of things for government to improve the traffic condition. And also we have a lot of autonomous driving things like autonomous driving taxi. We believe technology can change the world, can make our complicated world more simple. If you have any good idea, you can contribute to us. Baidu is a really open-minded and young company and we really believe we have the power to make your life easier and the, make the world better. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You those yeah, were very no lovely, problem. very lovely words. This is Ju. She works here, right, with the yeah, Paul yeah, Park, yeah. and she just gave a very complete explanation what Baidu is and what they're doing right now. And this is kind of what I've been telling you guys on my mm -hmm. channel about the technology that's being developed here in China by Baidu specifically. I've tried many devices from Baidu, like the Xiaodu that I have at home, oh. and it's super helpful. And even like Baidu Maps. I do translate, I have them all on my phone. Yeah. I use them every day. And hopefully, hopefully in the future, I will be able to use the Apollo Go in Shenzhen to take a taxi to go to work Please. every day. So hopefully soon, right, Drew? Yeah. Thank you so much for your words and for your time and your kind explanation about Baidu. See you next time then. Of course, see you. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in this kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.